Today we're in the 2025 Hyundai Kona Electric. This is the 64 kilowatt hour battery. And today we're gonna to be doing a 10% state of charge, 15 minute charge stop at a DC uh, fast charger to see how far we could travel on the highway in a road trip scenario uh, with this car at 120 kilometers per hour. So we arrived here at exactly 10% state of charge. It just ticked over from 10 to 11, you can see here. and uh, the Hyundai Electric has manual preconditioning of the battery, which we've used, and it says right now it's in a suitable temperature for optimal fast charging. Now, this car has a theoretical or stated maximum of 100 kilowatts for DC charging. That's not exactly ideal, that's not fast, but from my experience driving this car so far, it seems pretty efficient, so I think we're going to get a pretty decent number. Again, this is trying to recreate a road trip scenario where you you burn down your initial uh, battery charge for leaving home, and now you have to make a stop to add range. Let's see how much uh, how much range we can add in a 15 minute stop. So let's plug it in, and after that, we're going to jump on the highway. The highway is just one traffic light away from this charger, so that's perfect. Let's plug it in and start timing. The Hyundai Kona Electric. The charge port is actually in the front over here. So here, this is the 2025 model, but it still comes with a CCS1 port, uh, which is, I think future models are going to be next, but for now, of course, we have the plugs and the CCS uh, port over here. Let's see if we can reach. And these CCS cables are so heavy. Can't wait until everything is next. Now we're all plugged in, let's activate. Now this one has a tap to pay, so that's convenient. 56 cents per kilowatt hour, that's not too bad. Preparing. I'm gonna start timing as soon as it goes. Charging started. Ah, the car said charging started. Did you hear that from the speaker? Uh, so we've started the timer, let's go. Let, let's see here. You could see, maybe you can see, maybe not. It is ramping up 29 kilowatts, which is not great, but I think it's gonna get much faster. Um, let's go see what's happening inside the car. Just about a minute has passed now. The speed has ramped up to 92 kilowatts uh, at 12% state of charge. We are running the AC inside for our comfort and we're gonna be running the climate at about 20.5 degrees for the duration of the test. We're also going to be driving in eco mode, which I think makes the most sense for a road trip scenario. We've just hit 20%, so we add a 10% in the 4 minutes and a couple of seconds, uh, and the speed is still at about 94-95 kilowatts. I wish it was a bit higher, but I suspect because this is a smaller battery pack in this car. It's a 64 kilowatt hour pack, and I think the voltage is only something like 369 volts at full. So at 21%, the voltage must be pretty low. So I'm expecting that we might actually see some higher charging speeds kind of closer to the middle of the pack before it starts to taper because it becomes too full. So we'll keep you posted with these check-ins. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll get to like 50 something percent uh, in 15 minutes, that could be cool. Another feature here you could see on the screen, there's a, a clock here, it says 38 minutes to 80%. Can you see that? It's sort of visible. Yeah, so that's that's useful to have. Uh, I think Hyundai quotes this car 10 to 80% in 43 or 45 minutes, which is not the fastest, but if we can kind of hold a good curve and add a lot of energy low down, that would be very helpful. 30% check-in. The time is 8 minutes, 15 seconds. So some good news and bad news. So I didn't see 100 kilowatts from the curve. Um, I don't know what happened. This is the second time I'm DC fast charging this car and I've only seen 95 peak. The good news though is that it is very flat. So even at 30%, we're still at 87 kilowatts. So that's pretty much the same, the same charging speed that we started with at 10%. So if we can hold this curve, this, this kind of high uh, kilowatt throughout the test, I think we could still add a lot of energy to this car. We're at the 40% check-in. The time is almost 13 minutes. So there's only two minutes left to go. Pretty cool. So 
interestingly, uh, the curve is pretty flat to 40%. So up until maybe 1% ago, we were doing something like 85 kilowatts. Now there was a step level change. It went down to 70 just now at 41%. So it is beginning to taper off. Again, we never saw the 100 kilowatt claimed peak, uh, but it is what it is. We're going to stop charging very soon. You could see 13 and a half minutes in. One interesting fact about charging this car, actually, it has two separate charge limits, one for DC charging and one for AC charging. So you could see here, uh, there is a charging limit for DC charging, which we're doing now. I've never seen it like this, like on Tesla, for example, you just have a slider you could set that applies everywhere, but here it's separate. We're just about done here, 15 minutes coming up now. Let's stop. Stop session says we delivered 21.6 kilowatt hours and we're at 44% state of charge. I'm gonna go unplug. There we go. That was only 12 bucks, not bad. I can't find anywhere where I could find out how much energy was delivered into the car, but I think, did I say 21 kilowatt hours was delivered from the charger? So there's some losses, so maybe about 20 kilowatt hours or so were delivered into the battery, I'm gonna guess. And we're gonna, so, so since we added 34%, we're gonna drive on the highway until we've spent 17%. And then we're gonna turn around and try to finish as close as possible to our starting point with 10%. That way we're counteracting elevation and things like wind, hopefully. That way we're gonna get a pretty accurate result. Entering the highway and we're gonna very smoothly, gradually get up to 120 kilometers per hour. We're gonna try to maintain it as best we can. And we're gonna try not to draft off other cars too much. But real world scenario, maybe there will be some traffic, but we're gonna really do our best to try to keep a steady 120. So we're on the highway. The traffic is moving well enough for us to do this test today. I've set the cruise control at 121 kilometers per hour because GPS speed 120 is 121 indicated on the dash. So that's how we're going to drive this test. So we've reached our turnaround spot. We've made it 57 kilometers or so. It says we're going to come back with just around 10%. So traffic has been okay, not ideal. There was a bit of a slowdown, but I've tried to compensate just a little bit uh, to make it even, but it is what it is. It's the real world. We're just going to make a turnaround point here and jump back on the highway and conclude this test. Uh, while I have you, check out this really cool uh, animation here in the on the driver's screen where you have the, the camera showing your blind spot. Um, I really like that. Here we go, we just hit 10%. We've hit, we covered 113 kilometers, 113.9 kilometers. So let's call it 114 kilometers. Efficiency is 5.5 kilo, kilometers per kilowatt hour. Uh, so pretty good result. I think this is kind of what I expected. And we ended basically almost exactly where we started. So pretty good result. Um, cruise control was at 121. That's 120 GPS speed. It wasn't a perfect run because it's the real world. There was some slowdowns, but I tried my best here to average 120 kilometers per hour. I think we lost a couple of minutes actually at our turnaround point where there was some traffic. So that's why the, the times don't add up on my trip computer. Uh, but let's pull over and have some final thoughts. I think this was a good test. We just did our 10% 15 minute test of this Kona Electric and what did we learn? So at 120 kilometers per hour highway speed, we covered exactly 114 kilometers, which translates to 70 miles of range. It gained in 15 minutes of charging. We added about 21 kilowatt hours of energy and um, not a lot because the peak was only 95 kilowatts DC fast charging. Not the best, but this car is actually pretty efficient. It reports that we had something like 5.5 kilometers for every kilowatt hour we used, which is equates to 181 watt hours per kilometer used. 
if we consider the 64 to 65 kilowatt hour capacity of this battery pack that should be something like 350 kilometers of highway range so the initial range is actually pretty good but the charging could be better uh, so for that reason i think this car is better for commuting or for inner city duties but for long road trips with multiple stops maybe the hyundai's other cars on the high voltage eGMP platform like the Ionic 6 and Ionic 5 are better for road trips. But I still really like this car. It's a good offering, it rides really nice. And uh, if you're on the market for a Kona Electric, I hope this video was helpful for you. See you in the next one.